So the third most common question I get is what do you do? And uh, I'm qualified as a chiropractor. I went to college in England from 82 to 86 in Bournemouth in uh, England in a college called the Anglo European College of Chiropractic. And uh, like I said, I worked in England for two years. I went to America for one year and I've been in Italy for 26 years. So chiropractic is a, is a primary healthcare profession. It's uh, a science, an art and a philosophy. And our approach to the patient is to look at the patient in this whole essence, which we boil down to three principles, a chemical system, a mental system, and the structural system. And chiropractors work without drugs or, or pharmacy. We use our hands and our tongue in a sense that we give many advice on lifestyle, eating, ergonomics, and so on. And we use our hands to adjust or manipulate people, their spines principally. And the goal is to stimulate receptors in the periphery to make the central nervous system work better and command the chemical system, the mental system, and the structural system. So the nervous system is the, is the master system that controls the rest of the body and our thinking. Our approach is patient-centered. What does that mean? Uh, it's predictive, so we use the best science available to support and decide what we do. And it's preventive, so one thing is to get the patient better and another to keep them better. And the third thing is personalised, because every patient is a separate unit, an individual. Uh, many pathways in the brain are canalised, in common to everyone, 60%, but 40% are unique. So each patient has his own past and way of functioning today and goals and ambitions for the future. There are three levels of work. The first is, as I said, face up to problems that patients might have, back pain, neck pain, problems with learning, concentration. The second is to prevent that problem coming back again. But the first, third challenge, which is the most exciting one, is performance, to improve performance, enhance performance. So for example, a soccer player might come to us uh, to overcome an ankle injury, then to prevent that coming back in this season, but he might want to score five more goals next season and work towards that goal. Uh, a manager or a student might want to be able to learn more stuff in less time uh, and get better marks at school, for example, or be more productive in his work environment. So those are three levels of work. Problems we face up to, prevention, and then performance. And we do that principally through our methods which are manual, uh, but also we try to use our tongue as well to encourage patients, motivate them, and then educate them, and then give them exercises to do as well.